This is Dr. Juju Love. This is Sensei John. Hello, everyone. Great to see you. And we want to share some, some of our thoughts with you. And we want to talk about that the divine, this divine power, this divinity that people talk about, it's in us all the time. What's your thoughts, Dr. Juju Love? Exactly. We are, humans are. How, you know, the, the, the part that we don't see, that's the divine aspect. And the part we actually see, that's the physical aspect. And that part you don't see is always there. Otherwise, oh, thank you. <laughs> Otherwise. <laughs> he likes what she's saying. That's what's happening. Otherwise, you know, the way I see is that the divinity is what actually animates us. That's what gives us the spirit, life. To actually utilize this physical body to experience life so in order to really have the you know what what they call it, biggest bang for mm -hmm. the buck buck for the bang how did that go i think you said it right the first time okay yeah. in life you know get the most out of your life is to consciously connect with our divinity yes so that everything we do think and gain from life Comes that that higher uh, vibrational, higher aspect of who we are, rather than just sinking to like the not that they're, these are bad, but mm -hmm. you know, sinking to just like the physicality part of who we are, because then that just becomes no really different from animals. That what I believe makes human very different and unique is the capacity to be able to consciously choose to think. In a much deeper and way, yes, and uh, experience or respond rather than just being reactive to things. Well, it's about connecting to our soul and to exactly. know that when we're getting wisdom inside of us, it's kind of like that voice that speaks to us at, at moments when there's crisis and we're choosing to listen or not listen, and those are the times to listen. So to avoid unnecessary pain. Now, pain and suffering is part of evolution. Every time you go through that pain and suffering, these are stepping stones if you choose to better yourself. But we have to connect to who, who we are, listen to what we feel is the deep truth of what needs to be done in each and every situation. And there's always going to be situations. They're not going to stop because we need it, absolutely need it for that evolution. So embracing challenges and loving them when they come your way not being in fear with the, fear of them doesn't mean we're not going to have the fear, but if you t if you approach it more um, in aggressive way with excitement that it's here for a reason, I'm going to deal with it, and I'm going to go into my divine, into myself to deal with that pain, it's going to be much more gratifying, and the, and the best possible results will happen for everyone involved in each of your situations. Exactly. So you earlier just you mentioned pain and suffering. To me, pain and suffering, those are actually choices. Mm -hmm. So when something, you know, what we call challenges, right? Those are always pain and sufferings in a way. You could look at them as something that feels bad, because mm -hmm. pain and suffering sounds like it's something feels bad. But we could actually choose to see them as something positive coming along the way, so you don't actually suffer through those challenging times. You know, you... you wholeheartedly accept those challenges so it becomes something you you embrace from your heart your divine aspects so you know that it's like even though it feel, it's maybe like hard work but if it feels more effortless because it's something you really want to exactly. do exactly so it yeah. no longer becomes a suffering or something way ha heavy on you anymore it's just like just you know if a marathoner um they are running, even though it's a little bit painful, like this is part of getting to whatever the goal they chose to do. Right, exactly. But they don't look at it as pain and suffering. It's something they they are looking, working towards. It's because that at the end of those challenges, the, the course of marathon, there's a victory to be had. Absolutely. And then feeling accomplished, you know, that accomplishment. And so it's very expansion. symbolic. Absolutely. I hope you enjoyed listening to our th thoughts for the day. And, uh, you know, certainly uh, we're going to do this more because we enjoy just connecting with as many people that are, would like to listen 
And I hope you enjoyed. Uh, this is Zoe and this is this Toby. Is They're brother and sister. Yeah. And uh, they joined us today. Thank you Thank for you watching. Thank you so much. Namaste. Namaste. This is our Everyday Divine Dialogue. Yes. Thank you.